this project aims to, to create a network on which we, we will develop uh, mm -hmm. uh, device and the projects for future. Uh, mm -hmm. We will ask. Uh, Wherever they go, and the rest of Europe, mostly they speak English, so they don't feel the need as much as maybe, you know, when we go abroad, we have to know at least English. But if they go abroad, they just speak in their own language. So would you feel like, you know, challenging the assumption that English is enough, personally, on your professional experience? Yes, certainly. Um, I, I would because I <laughs> have had experience of working with uh, in a sector in tourism, for example, in this country, where there is a constant need uh, for people with, with language skills. And they are actually looking for native speakers of English, native, you know, people here that have language skills. You know, there is the authenticity factor. I don't know, maybe sounds a bit cheesy, but I, I feel European first, and I think that like before I would say I was Scottish, I, I think I feel more European, I certainly feel more European than British and I think that that feeling definitely comes from learning other languages and I think you can't really experience another culture if you don't understand the language that well, you know you're always experiencing it as an outsider, it means you can't really um, understand a different experience from a different part of the world. I think that although we do have 140 languages in Scottish schools, which is fantastic, and there is no doubt that Scotland is a multilingual country, mm -hmm. there's, there's nobody can say it's not. At the same time, Scottish education is monolingual. Well, uh, the Scottish um, government has this nice idea now to introduce two languages in primary schools. It's a nice plan, but whether it will become possible to implement it, it depends on a number of political decisions. I think That's having important. so many children coming in with another language as well oh, kind of yeah. makes them see, oh, I've only got one. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. Maybe I should try another. Yeah. Which is, which is kind of what the rest of Europe have been doing for a long time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think we've got a unique opportunity now because the, 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 these demographic changes that we were talking about at the beginning, you know, we, we, we're beginning to see them in, in, in a much clearer fashion mm -hmm. than we did do in the past. Mm -hmm. So I think now, you know, now is the time for this for this research project. Yeah. Ciao, tavolo per due. Oggi come piatto del giorno abbiamo Agis italiano. The trouble is you have to get over this commonsensical idea that the human mind is a finite thing. And that, you know, if you put too many words in it, you know, it's like filling up the tank of petrol and then suddenly petrol all over it. It doesn't happen like that. What happens is, is more like if you think of it as a muscle, if you go running every day, you can run further. We, we, we pointed out a few goals. No? Yeah. Stratclyde as a multilingual university. Mm -hmm. Also, we would like to impact on uh, uh, primary and secondary education. Mm -hmm. Also, on the society at, lar at, la at large. So, <laughs> a few minor goals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can do that by yeah, next week. Everybody.